How's it? What we're going to do today is uh, show some video effects. I have this uh, transition example um, where it changes in. So it has a lot of cool transitions with uh, video, and we're going to try to do some uh, premiere uh, to kind of replicate that. Um, so what we're going to do is, um, as you can see, we're also going to learn how to transform some objects, uh, but I'm going to start with a couple, couple of clips. Uh, here we have some um, swimming clips I'm going to put in here. And uh, first of all, you have to decide how you want to have the image come onto the screen. Okay, So you have to decide the size. Uh, kind of like in this example, they had sizes that were smaller, some were bigger, and some were medium. So um, in this case, we're going to go to transform. So. I'm going to go to transform and I'll make sure you're into the effects uh, panel and then go to transform and drag it into the clip and then you'll see a lot of options here. So um, what we can do first is I can first of all scale it uh, down. So if I want to have like two images like side by side, okay, I can have it this way. And you see this number on position, I can um, go smaller or bigger and move it to the side. You can also type it in if it's faster. And you can go negative numbers, you know, to move it to the side. Okay. Um, and then, so and then you have keyframes. So kind of like in After Effects, um, you have a stopwatch here. So I'm going to go to the start of my clip, hit the stopwatch, move it out. Okay. And then I'm going to um, move that up a number. And you can scrub it, or you can just guess a number and then kind of move it from there. Now again, you can do exactly what I do, or you can um, deviate and do uh, what you want to do. I'm just giving it some examples, okay? So let me scale this out. I'm gonna do half and half, kind of like that, okay? So if I go here and scrub it out, it, it comes up, oh, it, come, it comes, but it's kind of slow. Okay, so I'm going to actually move this so it happens faster. Okay, so there we go. And then I can have another clip. Okay, so I can have my other clip here. And it can be on the same frame. Okay. And okay, so here's my other clip that I have. And again, I'm going to transform this clip. And um, I'm going to scale it down to the same properties. If you forget what property um, size, you can go back and check the size. It was 50. Nope, oh, it wasn't. Um, and then I'm going to position it maybe from the right side of my screen. So it's going to start um, off and then come on. Again, I'm going to go to the front of my clip. Okay, and then I'm going to start my position, stopwatch, now, and then I'm going to bring it across right here. Okay, so when I, and what I forgot to do was start it. I forgot to drag it out. See that? You gotta drag it out. Okay. So there we go. And right about there. And I think my scale should be a little bit smaller. 54. And position out. And you, you, you can put like a little black gap if you think it looks better that way. So now if I extend it out and play it. Okay. And again, if it's too slow, you can go down to like a fourth so it's a little bit smoother. I'm going to bring these in a little bit closer. Yeah, they're about the same. So I extend it out. Okay. Um, you can also change the clip. So for example, let's say you have... Uh, the scale, okay. You could start the stopwatch on the scale, and you could scale this, you know, down to nothing, okay. But you have to move out uh, your keyframe here, 
And now we can like kind of do nothing. When that disappears, we can take in a new clip and we can position it. Um, we position it to kind of take its place and change the scale, you know, from zero. And we're both there. So, uh, so start your scale at zero and then start your time stopwatch drag it out a little bit and then scale it to 100 and actually not 100 a little bit less than that okay so now if we play this it kind of stands out and, and a little choppy because of the bit rate but it basically uh, goes scales down and then replace it with the new footage you can also opacity stuff like opacity is here as well you can opacity down um, you know from zero replace it with the new image uh, but one cool effect is the track mat I'm gonna go down here and hit rectangle tool and I'm basically just gonna create two rectangles like this and this is my anchor point okay and then what I'm going to do is um, on after you are selected that go to uh, the video clip and select the video clip and then you can go down to uh, we're going to type in track and then you see track mat key, we're gonna drag that onto the clip and you'll see some more options. And then with the mat, you're gonna choose you know, which video you want it to be um, transforming. So in this case, it would be um, video two. And you can have multiple videos. You can have another track. See here is video two is this shape. You can have another video in a different shape. But as you can see, it, it now kind of cycles through uh, this and I can change that to the beginning uh, like so now if we want to change this uh, we can go back you know make it bigger but what is also cool is you can like start these here and you can change your position so if you look this changes the position of the whole object so f for example if we want wanted to change it like starting like out here we could start the stopwatch extend it out and then extend this all the way out here so now if we play it it moves across the screen okay also with the scale okay you can also scale it up so we, can, we start to scale here and then out let's say we make it like bigger like like this and then let's say later on we want to change just one of the squares so what you can do is go down and you have um, each shape okay, that you can change. So this is the shape for here. So we can start the position here, extend that out, and then notice we can move this across the screen, maybe to combine it, okay? And we can do it both ways. And we can also move up the scale. So now if we play it, okay? So, and you can do that to each of the shapes. So you can have shapes coming in, out, moving around. A lot of fun stuff you can do with this tool. So, be creative. Get out there and transform your videos.